Hey everyone, it's me. We're back again. Here just making a little bit of lunch and a um, really simple kind of steak sandwich. Let's uh, adjust here. Alright, good. So, we've got uh, a baguette sitting here in the oven. We're running it, pop, uh, pop it up a little bit there, 400 degrees. And we're going to need a little bit of uh, ice cubes. Uh, maybe three is good. We're going to take three ice cubes. We're going to put those in the bottom of the oven here. This is going to give us some humidity to add crisping to help crisp the uh, the exterior of the, the baguette that we're using. I'm getting a baguette from a local bakery called Cunningham's. Really nice quality. Uh, probably one of the better ones in the area. So what we're using today is maybe we'll use an egg too. Let's see. So we're getting a, a little butter, American cheese. You know, I like American cheese. I know some people really think that, oh, why would you use American cheese? But, you know, my family was an immigrant family, so we grew up in a, in just a real working part, working class part of Baltimore. And this is the kind of thing we grew up eating. So it's really got a, a place in my heart. And plus what I like about the American cheese that it, the melt factor is really soft it, it's always delivering a very consistent experience and then we also have some steak here this is some steak that we sous vide and i stole to use some nice slices look at that really the sous vide is really well done on this so you can see the nice thing with the sous vide if you're not familiar is that it it will cook the the protein on the steak in this case at a very even and consistent temperature and then you can bring it to an internal temperature let's say 130 degrees and then you take it out and then you'll sear it on the outside for color and the Maillard reaction and so you get a very even coating this one looks like a little bit heavy on the on the seasoning on the uh, so you get a little bit it's a little bit thicker the gray line but not a big deal all right so Tell. All right, we're, we've got the the bread is running. I put the tray in here because I wanted to to get it pretty hot. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to get some sizzle on the the meat as we heat it up. So we get a little bit of but a little bit of butter here. Okay, that's good. Now, you know, you can use anything you want. Um, I could use a ramekin. I could use a small skillet. Let's put that back in there for a few moments. So we're not really sure what we're making. Just kind of like freestyling it here. That's probably good. So put the meat on here, that's good. Now we're crowding it. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to heat we just want to warm the meat through we don't really want to do any kind of cooking with it we're just trying to warm it up to get it at a nice temperature for consuming need that. and so now it's just a matter of waiting so I guess I'll wait a few minutes and then come back Right, it's been a few minutes now, and the the bread should be nice and toasty. That's pretty good. How are we doing with the meat? Yeah, we just want to get the heat off of it. I mean, the, the chill off of it. But now we're going to take some of this butter. And we'll butter up part of it. You know, you could use whatever you have on hand. Um, 
you like mustard or I mean if you like mayonnaise you can always use that as well I do have some mustard here so this is the homemade Bavarian mustard you, you know this is really easy to use it's just um, it's, uh, two different types of uh, mustard seeds so dark and yellow and then we've got or brown and yellow should I say and then uh, we've got some uh, vinegar sugar and uh, onions garlic and you just kind of mix it all together and let it sit, sit for like 24 hours real easy to make and then um, I like to process it to get a little bit of texture to it so I, I want to have a combination of crushed crushed um, seeds as well as uh, whole seeds you know give a nice textural difference okay so now this is getting a little bit on the warm side but the it's not just a matter of layering it finding where do you want to put all the pieces well, this is going to be pretty darn thick oh this is ridiculous look at this it's too much I think this is probably too much let's uh let's move it around a little bit we're gonna go a little bit heavy so maybe hit with a little bit of salt this is the pretty coarse kosher and some fresh pepper good okay great let's keep that back in there for a moment all right we don't need to have too much cheese or do we or maybe we do <laughs> all right yeah and that could be it you know you could just end we can end it right there real simple let's break that top off yeah look at that that's it big old steak some cheese That's lovely. Now, if you notice here, the um, these are fatty parts. These are the uh, the rib cap, the ribeye cap, and those are super tender, super flavorful. And I kind of tried to disperse it throughout the sandwich. Oh. That's really nice. The the sweetness and the spiciness of this mustard really bounces well with the uh, the beefiness as well, especially the fattiness of the beef. So there you have it, just a real simple leftover steak sandwich using crusty uh, baguette. Give it a try. See you next time.